What's going on YouTube, man? It's your boy, Black Raiden. And I'm back with a brand new video. And if you can't tell, this isn't 2K21. No, 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 because it is 2K19. On December 31st, it was the last day that the servers were going to be up. Because on January the 1st, 2021, they cut them off forever. Which means no more 2K19 Park. It's gone. It's gone forever. King Banaka hit me up on December 31st and was like, hey man, let's go out here and run it up one last time. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Now these gameplays that you're about to see or some of the games that we played in the park while the server was up for the remaining few hours that it was up. Um, you're going to see two gameplays. And I'm not going to talk too much about what is going on in the gameplay. I know I usually do the green light edits and different things like that. And the shaking emojis or the shaking effects, should I say, whenever there's a dunk or anything like that. But I really just wanted to talk about 2K19 and uh, what it meant to me. For what a lot of you all do not know, um, 2K19 was the first game that I actually played Park. <laughs> yeah, it was the first 2K that I played Park. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Your boy Black Raiden is not new to the 2K community, okay? I My first 2K that I actually bought for myself was 2K11. But from 2K11 to 2K18... I was strictly a my career guy. That's the only mode that I really played. Um, I'm well aware that Park was introduced in 2K14, but I didn't play it <laughs> because, you know, my career at one point in time, my career was like really popping. You know, my career was like the stuff like my career was really, really good. And you can credit uh, certain creators like Chris Smoove. For that because he really popularized uh nba 2k my career as being like one of the careers to play but over time uh the park community began to grow and you know i'm not ashamed to say i was late <laughs> to this you know i was late to the park community you know so when i first started playing park it was 2k19 this game that you're seeing here right now um the only reason why I went to park in the first place is because King Banaka hit me up. Now, one thing you have to understand about me and King Banaka, we're friends outside of this 2K stuff. You know, me and King Banaka been friends way before any of us began to play with each other and run as a team, before we formed the AM clan, before any of that. We were friends. And he hit me up randomly one day and was like, hey, bro. Hey, you you play 2K and I was like, yeah, I play 2K. I was like mostly my career and different things like that. He was like, "Why don't you come out to the park?" And I was very hesitant about playing park because, you know, I have played online gaming before, but it was mostly like fighting games or racing games or different things like that. I had never played like a uh a basketball game online or a football game online or anything like that. And I was very hesitant because I didn't know, you know, how good I would be against um, other people. <laughs> you know, I was really I was really nervous about that. And I didn't want to, you know, let myself down. I didn't want to let him down, you know, but to my brother King Banaka's, you know, testament of his character he was so patient with me <laughs> he was so patient with me man and because let me let y'all know something man. your boy when i first started my park career in 2k19 before i even made a youtube before i made myself as black raider before i came up with the character before any of that before the white locks the white beard before any of that i sucked <laughs> I sucked, man. I sucked. But King Monaco was so patient with me, man. And, you know, he brought me in into the AM clan. Him and the Ghost Blade 318, they brought me in, you know, and they showed me how to work as a team and all this other stuff. And uh, I, I started to get more comfortable with playing online, playing against other people. And I became competitive 
you know, and I began to fall in love with this game of NBA 2K, you know, and even when 2K20 was out, I was still uploading 2K19 videos all my day ones. You remember, you remember, I, I do not have a 2K20 video up on my channel right now. You can't find it because I didn't play that. I played this. Now, am I saying that 2K19 was a complete game? Of course not. This game had its faults. And I will be one of the rare few people that will actually talk about them. Matter of fact, I will talk about them. Let's talk about how lockdowns were the most overpowered build in the game. They could literally do everything. If you made your lockdown build right, you literally could do everything. You could speed boost, dribble, break ankles, shoot. And let's not forget you had a 99 steal, 99 block, 99 rebound almost, I think. <laughs> you know? You could literally do everything. Um, people like to say that 2K21 on uh, the PS5, every build can shoot, which is true. But it didn't just start there, man. You know, 2K19, almost every single build could shoot. You couldn't leave anybody open. Let's not forget about the stretch bigs who were shooting over people's heads. <laughs> Let's not forget. You can make a, a stretch big, for those who don't know, that's a power four who has three-point shooting for both archetypes. And you can literally shoot over people's heads consistently, consecutively, without a, without a hitch, without a doubt, man. You know? And let's not forget when pushing was in the game. Y'all remember when pushing was in the game? For like six months, 2K did not address pushing in the park. Pushing was a, was such a bad issue that a lot of people stopped playing <laughs> because of that. But not your boy. Your boy kept playing. Your boy and King Banaka kept playing. We kept going out there. We kept going hard as ever because, let's not forget, I was the slashing shot creator then. Y'all remember this build? This is the original Black Raiden build. Y'all know I had to bring y'all this video, man. Y'all know I had to bring y'all this video. But even if, you know, 2K had its issues, and don't get me wrong, when we fired this game back up on December 31st and just went out there, we noticed a lot of people had demigod glitches. Y'all remember the demigod builds and different things like that? Um, weirdly enough, when we played on the final day, we didn't run into a lot of demigods. Not a whole lot. I will say we maybe ran into maybe one, if that, maybe two. I don't. I can't really remember. King Banaka, you got to let me know if, if we really ran into a whole lot of demigods. But um, we just ran into people who just really enjoyed playing the game. And it was so refreshing, you know, playing against people who were still competitive on the last day. Like we ran a series with a, like a, a team like we went on a five game series you know we came out as the victors you know it is what it is you know but whatever you know we we ran into people who just wanted to play the game and just have fun nobody was toxic nobody was nobody was worried about records nobody was worried about overalls nobody was worried about nothing man everybody was just there just to hoop because this was the last time we was going to be able to do it on 2k19 and I can't imagine, I can't begin to explain to y'all how good that felt, man. Hooping with my old teammate, my original clan mate, who's still a member. Don't get it twisted because whenever he wants to come out of retirement, he can and he'll drop you boys off. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. But hooping in, in the old, you know, neighborhood, it just brings back a feeling of this is where it began because this is truly where it began for you boy this is where i learned how to iso this is where i learned the difficult task of isolation basketball and i was doing it on a build that couldn't speed boost a non-playmaking build you know i was doing it on this and the fact that i'm able to look back from this game of how i used to play and to how i play now it just feels good to see the growth, you know? And this video is really hard for me to make because I'm gonna miss 2K19. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. 
regardless of the issues that it had, regardless of the cheese that it had, regardless of the glitches and the demigods and different things like that, 2K19 was fun. You know, people can say what they want to say about the game, but I had so much fun playing this game the years that the servers were up. You know? And even though, you know, I'm still uploading 2K21 on the PS5 videos, I'm still doing that. Sometimes it's good to go back and just look. And like I told y'all in the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last day's footage. This is actually December 31st, 2020, when the last day of the servers were up. Because on January the 1st, they cut them off forever. And one thing about this gameplay, and I'm actually getting into the gameplay like late in the video <laughs> or whatever. Um, I had to remember how to dribble on 2K19 because I hadn't played it. <laughs> I hadn't played it since 2K21 came out when it was on the PS4 and the PS5. Like I, I hadn't played 2K19, so I couldn't remember my old dribble styles or anything like that. My jump shot was the wrong jump shot. I had a lot going on that day, <laughs> but man, I didn't care. And you saw me hit that game winner that first game. And one thing that I liked about playing on the last day was that it was just it was just good not to have to worry about winning or losing. You know? Don't get me wrong, I don't worry whether or not I win or lose on 2K21. I mostly win. I have a very good record. But I don't know, man. It's it's on 2K21, I play like I'm about to get signed. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> to whose league? I don't know. Cause I'm never going for the 2K league. But I don't know, man. It was just something about this game that on this particular day on the last day that it just felt good not to not to try Ooh, you see that I told you King Banaka I got the footage but anyway if you're new make sure you subscribe like the video and turn those post notifications on and y'all be cool farewell 2k19 but for everybody else I'll see you in the next video peace